These are the five best mods that Payday 3 has to offer so far. I mean, we're only about, what, a week or two weeks into the game, and there have been already a handful of different mods that were released. But most of them are mostly just skin mods, which alter the looks of certain things, such as our cell phones. But these five mods that I have in this list actually change around your gameplay, which can help you be a much more effective Payday 3 player. Now, without any further ado, let's get down to the list. And I do must mention mentioned that this list is not ranked in any particular order so let's get down to it first of all there is the kill counter mod this kill counter mod is very important for most players to use and i'll tell you why you may or may not know that to level up in payday 3 we need to complete challenges and all of these challenges cannot be tracked in game you kind of just have to play and after you're done playing you can go to the challenge tab check out what kind of progression you made during the game there is really no way for you to keep Keep track of it and as you may know as well for challenges there are a lot of different weapon based type challenges such as getting multiple kills with different weapons as well as headshots for example there are challenges that require you to get let's say 50 or 100 headshots with a revolver there are other challenges that require you to get 500 kills with an smg and it's really really difficult for us to keep track of how many kills we're getting while we're leveling up these weapons without this mod when you're in a map grinding for the challenges grinding for the kills you have no way of actually knowing how many kills you're getting unless you actually count kill by kill how many kills you're getting and we all know that's not quite effective when we're needing let's say a hundred different kills it's gonna be really difficult for us to keep track of how many kills we're getting with that smg so what ends up happening a lot is we actually end up getting way more kills than necessary which makes our grinding for challenges a lot more ineffective however with this mod you know just exactly how many kills you're getting so let's say you need 73 kills with an smg you go into the game and you can keep track of those exact 73 kills and as soon as you get it you can just leave the game and your challenge will be completed this of course is also a nice addition and a nice quality of life mod which when we play multiplayer we can keep track of all of our teammates kills and we can just have a little bit of friendly competition to see how well we perform compared with our teammates so on that same note of challenges the second best mod in this list is the challenge viewer this mod once linked with your nebula account keeps track of all of your challenges as long as you press that refresh data button then it pretty much is in real time and it's a much cleaner way of seeing our challenges we all know the challenge tab in payday 3 is awful i mean we can't search for challenges we don't know how many versions of a challenge there is if it goes one two three four five and it stops at like five or if it keeps going to like 10 we just don't know it, it's completely non-intuitive by using this specific mod we eliminate all that confusion and we can have it all together here in this program alone now this is a dot exe rather than a mod However, you can find it in mod workshops for Payday 3. And of course, by the way, I will be linking all of the mods I'm mentioning in this video in the description box below. But yeah, I totally recommend this mod. It helps you keep track of all the challenges you need to do. And as you can see there in the video, we can organize it by category. We can organize our challenges by difficulty, by tactics such as loud or stealth, by map. If we're doing weapon challenges, we can separate by exactly the weapon looking for we can pin different challenges, you know, and just kind of focus on those and they will be pinned at the top and you can just focus on that. Anyways, it's a very, very, very effective tool that should have been implemented into Payday 3. It should not require a mod whatsoever for us to be able to see the challenges this way. I mean, the challenge tab right now is just a joke in Payday 3, but, but thankfully, thanks to all these mod creators, we now have this issue resolved and I would definitely recommend you download this mod so that it makes your life a whole lot easier when you're grinding those challenges. Now for the third mod, you may have heard about this as this is one of the first mods that came out is the armor and HP HUD mod. This mod allows you to see how much health and armor your enemies have. And this is incredibly useful. I would definitely use this mod if I weren't recording content. Uh, I don't, I try to avoid mods altogether when I'm recording content, so it doesn't make my 
screen difficult to understand for people who don't use mods so i try to keep my game completely mod free but i would definitely use this if i weren't recording and it also helps you as well understand the enemies we go up against i mean personally i had no clue that the snipers for example only had 40 hp i had no clue that the dozer had well over 3000 armor and this mod is just really useful in that and it helps you actually learn the game a bit better on top of having a lot of extra information that makes your game a lot easier and it essentially allows you to play a whole lot more effective especially if you're playing loud uh yeah i totally 100 recommend this mod everybody should have it if you're able to download it now kind of on the same note and the same idea type of uh mod we got the damage pop-up hud mod this was made by the very same creator as the previous mod which is interesting to see this mod is also very very interesting uh i also also recommend it for the very same reasons as I recommend a simple armor and health mod as it helps you just gain a lot of extra information that we don't have on regular payday 3 and once again I think that both of these mods are the type of mods that should not have to be mods they should just be implemented into payday 3 you should be able to turn them on or off as we choose but for whatever reason payday 3 didn't deem it necessary to be implemented into the game but yeah at least we got modders that can create these mods for us the damage pop-up hud is very interesting because it helped me gauge a better understanding of how powerful each weapon is i mean when i was using it especially with the revolver i had no clue that it actually hit as hard as it did i mean i was hitting people for 240 damage i had no clue that it was as powerful as that and it's just kind of interesting once again it just kind of makes you a better player just by having these mods because it helps you understand a little bit better the weapons you're using because you actually have a better idea of how much damage you're actually dealing especially when you know how much health your enemy has you know it just overall makes you a more effective player especially when playing loud once again now going on to the fifth mod this is for my viewers out there who have bad computers and struggle with fps when payday 3 this mod is a simple fps boost mod and we've got three different versions versions of it and for the sake of recording this video I went with the ultra potato mod and this is what it looked like I mean the game looks like it was made in 1999 and let me tell you something it called me crazy but it felt really good to play this way for whatever reason the game felt a lot smoother I think due to the fact that it has way less details and it's just a lot flatter and it, it for some reason gave me like a, a comfortable feeling from back in the day when I used to play counter-strike 1.6 I don't know it just kind of gave this clean feeling of going around and it kind of made me feel like almost like I'm playing a competitive game when I was playing this high still no rest for the wicked I honestly would recommend this mod for those of you who struggle with FPS or if you're actually a competitive player who actually just wants to perform better I mean this could probably help you because the lighting is a lot simpler as well it's a lot easier to see all of your enemies and the hostages even though they look like shit, it's a lot clearer, the map's a lot more visible, and of course, the game runs a lot smoother when you're using this mod. Now, I did not try the other versions of this mod, I only went for the Ultra Potato for the sake of this recording. Of course, this is not a mod that I would personally use because once again, I'm a content creator, so I'm not going to be playing Payday 3 looking like Counter-Strike 1.6 out here. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty good mod and it felt really good to use. And a younger, sweaty version of myself would probably opt in for this mod if I weren't recording content for Payday 3. Now, before we end the video, there are two honorable mentions here that I did not include in the list, but are definitely two worthwhile mods to have. Uh, first of all is the skills color mod, which pretty much just kind of cleans up your loadout and kind of separates edge grit and rush in different colors and it just kind of keeps your loadout a lot easier to understand you know it, it once again it's one of those things that payday 3 did a terrible job with the ui you kind of don't know which skills actually require a buff or give you a buff unless you actually scroll through your mouse one by one to try to figure out which ones trigger rush which ones trigger grit you know uh, to do all that and this mod simplifies all that by making it a lot cleaner 
and you can kind of see like if you're has a lot of skills that give you grit a lot of skills that give you edge or if you're lacking something you can also kind of see like your build is missing out on grit and you need grit and you're missing out on edge or you only have one skill that gives edge you know it's just it just keeps things more organized things more neat and i would definitely recommend you uh use this mod as well it's very light on your game it, it plays no role on your fps or anything it just keeps it cleaner and more organized and last but not least is the no contractor voice mod i mean i was starting to get really annoyed with the contractor voices this mod simply mutes them you know i guess payday 3 also didn't consider that we'll be playing these heists 10 15 20 30 different times and we don't want to hear every single time the same speech over and over and over again <laughs> i guess they uh forgot to consider that but this mod finally cleans that up and we don't have to keep hearing them over and over and over again and that is it these are the i guess seven different mods that i would totally recommend for uh pretty much everybody with the exception of the potato mod i mean the potato mod is mostly for people who have really bad computers but uh assuming you have a, a computer that can run payday 3 just fine I would personally recommend downloading those six different mods as they all add to your game and actually make things a lot more effective for you. Most of them uh, are mostly important for loud gameplay, which in the UI department, Payday 3 is lacking quite a lot. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.